Dear Chloe, it's Chloe, um, it's bad, <laughs> it's been bad, I know usually the beginning of the of the new year, especially this new year, you know, people want to start positive, but I really can't pretend to feel anything else than what I'm feeling right now, so the honest to god truth is that 2020 kicked my ass just like it kicked everyone's ass I didn't thrive I didn't overcome anything I didn't prosper I got my ass kicked Hank Green of the Vlogbrothers made a video at the beginning of the pandemic that was talking about obliterated expectations and that there are certain moments where there is a distinct before and after and the exact moment that the after happens your brain goes haywire oscillating between it's not real it can't be real and then the horrific soul crushing truth that it is real and nothing is going to be the same anymore yeah every day of 2020 squeezed out another drop of hope that i didn't think i had left in me out out of everything emotionally that 2020 took out of me in the yawning hours of 2021 a white car slammed into the back of my prius sending it into a tailspin and taking away the last physical reminder that there was a before when everything was more or less okay or at the very least I thought I knew what to expect that's a really shitty feeling <laughs> my mom was telling me you know it's okay it's just a car I had this car all throughout college and it felt like home more often than my house would feel sometimes because it felt like it was truly my own space with no interference from anybody else and I needed that space and now that space is wrecked in the behind, so I wish it didn't have to be taken from me so suddenly and certainly at a time when I'm already <laughs> emotionally struggling to get by. I hear many things about the importance of staying positive, of having hope on the bright side of things. I am physically unharmed. My mother, who was driving the car, is physically unharmed. I'm also teaching myself and reminding myself that it's important to mourn and it's important to grieve. And there is a tangible loss that has been happening for months now. And that helps me feel a little better when all I want to do is just cry and cry. So this is my 2012 Prius C. The C stands for Colossus. I'm gonna really, really miss this car because I love this fucking car. <laughs> Chloe, I realize that you're going through a really, really hard time emotionally. You have lost many things that you once held on to. There will be new things to replace them. And in the meantime, until you find those things, I hope that you can grieve and find closure and I hope that you can find some peace until those new pieces come into place. It's okay to be sad and it is okay to be lost. If any time, God, now is the time. <laughs> Sincerely, Chloe.